Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, if you are interested in courses or books, or you have ideas on how to improve these content, please check out the link in the description box. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, how to download datasets from Statistics Canada's website. So the homepage of Statistics Canada's website looks like this. So we are going to go to the data tab here. So let's click on that. And so this brings us uh, their um, user interface to get data sets. So we'll be uh, hovering over the all, but we can select specific types of data if we want. So I'll show three ways to look for the data that we are interested in. And, uh, and then I'll show you guys how to uh, download those data sets. So the first, so let's say I'm interested in data on GDP. So I'll just use the keyword search here and type in GDP, let's say. So this brings up all of the data sets that are related to GDP in this data source. And we can also uh, like filter like by province or by frequency or if we know the specific statistical uh, survey program that collects the data, we can also select those things. For this demonstration, let's uh, pick this one, gross domestic product at basic prices by industry monthly. So I'm going to open this up. So let's say we are interested in this data set and so we can just simply do the keyword search, click on the data source and this brings us to the data set. Now I'm going to get into how we can further uh, customize and filter what kind of data we want out of this. But let's go back and let's take a look at another way of searching for data. So let's say we knew what was the table number of the data set because we've previously downloaded it. So in that case, we can directly put the table number here to get the data. And so this will bring exactly that specific table number first, as we can see. And so we'll, we can go through that data set. Another way of looking for data is, let's say we know the um, catalog number. Let's say I would like to use the supply use tables. And uh, I can see that the statistical program and uh, survey catalog number here is 15-602-X. So I can just simply do a Google search of that scan and then the catalog number and that will bring up the uh, relevant data source. And from here we can go to the latest data and then download that data set. So these are three different ways we can search for data. One is if we don't know anything, we can just write the keywords. If we know the table number, we can directly input the table number. Or if we know the catalog number, we can use that as well. So now let's say I have this data across domestic product at basic prices, and I would like to download this data set. So what we can do first is add or remove data here. This will let us customize the data set before we download it. So here, the only geography available is Canada. For other data sets, it could be provinces or even more granular levels. And then uh, we can choose seasonally adjusted or trading day adjusted, or we can also choose both. Here we have the price options. So this gives us a change to $2,012. We can also get at constant prices. And then um, we have the industry classifications here. And we can click uh, open this up. And we can see that right now it selects all of these industries. And we can open this up further and we can see that let's say agriculture and forestry and fishing can be broken down and this one can be broken down further as well so we can get more granular levels by clicking on them or let's say i'm not interested in all of these industries i'm let's say doing some sort of analysis on forestry and so what i would do is i would just unselect everything i would go here and i'll pick forestry industries only so forestry and logging support activities for forestry and let's say i'm interested in wood wood product manufacturing which is also relevant to forestry. So let's, I'll pick um, sawmills, veneer, and other wood products. So let's say these are the industries that I'm interested in the GDP data of. And finally, the reference period. So this gives us monthly growth rates. So we'll just get only one month over month growth rate here. And we can pick months. But let's say if we wanted month over month data like this. So this is GDP by industry monthly. We can directly go to the add or remove data here. So in the similar way, we can choose our preferences here. And let's say I'll pick a number of industries. And then here I can pick from, let's say, January 2016 to March 2022. And finally, I'll hit apply. So in the previous one, I'll also hit apply. So this will load the data in the according to the customizations we've picked. 
and we can see in this one we only have like the North American industry classifications for forestry and logging industries. We can also customize how we see this layout. So we can just go here, customize layout, and then you can select which one to display on the rows and columns. Now once we've done that and applied to it, now it's the last thing to do is download the, download the data set. We can download the data set as it's displayed or we can download it in a tabular format which is more like more unpivoted format. So download options. What I would do is this one CSV uh, excluding accompanying symbols. So this will help me read the data uh, from Excel to other statistical programs. Another one I would do is this one if I have a very very long data set. So for database loading. All right, so let's take a look at these two data sets that we've downloaded. So the first one, which is the downloaded as displayed. And so this is exactly as it, uh, you, we can see it in the website. And so we could have customized the layout and maybe had the dates on in a column and all of these uh, industries in the rows. So we would have had um, a wide or long format data set according to our customization. But this is the basic gist. And as we have excluded the symbols, um, it'll be much easier to read the data from here. Otherwise, some of this data might have footnotes with uh, these numbers. So that's the first data set. And then the second one here, which is for the database loading. So this is much more of an uh, unpivoted structure as we can see. So we have the like data ID here, um, the relevant information, and here's the value of the data. And so here are the prices, here are the industries, and so it has all of the different industries. So we can use, uh, let's say we're working with data, we can use the long to wide or wide to long conversions and format the data in the way we want. So this is a quick overview of how we can search for data sets and how we can download data sets from Statistics Canada website. If you like my videos and find them helpful, then please support my work by subscribing to the channel.